Okay, then we're just back now from Bush Gardens. And as you probably know, um, I have not yet done a room tour. I know I should have done this on day one when we were travelling. Uh, well, when we've travelled here to Orlando. So this is the lounge area. And it is featured with a TV screen with a Bose audio system. And of course as well. It features one of the most popular Florida feel. So, watch this. So we've got a so we've got a ceiling fan uh, in this uh, room, and I'm just going to take you out onto into the into the patio or the conservatory or whatever you call this part. And of course, we've got a conservatory ceiling fan in this area, and um, so this is the view out onto the lake at the Sheraton Vistana. Got the other complexes on the other side. Got lots of protection there. And over there is the falls pool. You got the kids water park. There's like a kids water play area with a butterfly and tipping bucket. Obviously, um, I usually tend to do like the cascades pool and the, the fountains pool and even the super pool which is one of the major, bigger pools here at the Sheraton Vistana. So got a very nice fan in this area here. They're very nice, these fans are. They've actually been upgraded, these fans are. They used to be like classic one, and I had a brown one with, with leaves on it. But since they've refurbished this complex, they've actually done a bit of TLC to it. So it looks very nice. And of course you've got a dining type of table. You can actually have food in this area, but obviously we don't tend to do that because normally we do like uh, our regular food reviews. Um, and there's me, hello. Anyway, I'm gonna just take you back into the, into the lounge area of the resort. And uh, just beyond there is the, the master bedroom, is, is bedroom number two. Uh, not going to go into much detail of the bedrooms because obviously it is a lot of it is messy, but obviously it's just basic. Has a television screen and also has a few, and it also has uh, a lot of these ceiling fans. And of course, you've got the sh two bathrooms. One's got a jacuzzi in, and another one has got um, and another one has got um. Um, a shower cube, a walking shower in. So let me just sit down. And this is my, and here's the outfit of the day. I was wearing my shorts, t-shirt, North Face, and my night trainers and trainer liners. And um, so I'm not going into much detail because obviously most of the rooms are messy and obviously I, 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 I just need to get better detail. But obviously if we come here, when, it, Whenever we come here next, I'm sure I'll get a more full review on the room on the official day. But as always, I'll keep you up to date for whatever happens uh, in the future. Okay then, guys, here we are. We are now coming into Walt Disney World Resort. And you may be thinking, hey, I thought we weren't doing Disney this time around. But however, uh, we're actually doing... Um, uh, Disney Springs which is like the shopping village uh, and of course you don't need a park ticket um, for the Disney Springs shopping village because obviously it's welcome to anyone and uh, so anyway here are the signs for the Disney hotels the Saratoga Springs and also uh, Disney Springs so here we are just uh, going round so you got some lovely lovely hotels so I'm going to talk to you about something uh, in case you probably didn't know or might have heard but that is at Disney Springs and it is something that 
we all, all us lovers miss and was a very, very great, exciting one. Uh, but obviously, it is seen at, like at the end of the rainbow. Well, I wouldn't say end of the rainbow, but obviously it is something that is no longer there. Anyway, there's a bus uh, going along. Uh, it is operated on behalf of Drury Hotels. And uh, so anyway, traffic lights have changed to green. So we're now on our way to uh, Disney Springs, which is the, uh, the shopping village um, here in Orlando. And of course, not only has Disney themed shops, but it also has a Lego store the world of Disney store and uh, so, and of course you've got your standard shops like Zara, Under Armour, Uniqlo um, and also we have a handful of other different stores and I'm going to sample them and uh, also going to do a lot of uh, interest. Oh and here's a Mears Connect uh, coach. Uh, Mears Connect, uh, I think that uh, used to be branded as the Disney Magical Express, if you remembered their coach services. So here we are at the Disney Springs Complex, and of course you've got the Typhoon Lagoon Water Park uh, that is next to it on the other side. Now, when you look at the two Disney water parks, they're not actually open at the same time, which is quite weird, uh, because obviously we've been to the Disney water parks in our history, like we've done uh, Disney's uh, Blizzard Beach, um, which is located um, further upwards and that includes the Summit Plummet Water Slide uh, which is the flagship which is during the Crown uh, whilst uh, Disney's Typhoon Lagoon the during the Crown for that is the um, is the iconic um, Miss Tilly the uh, the boat which uh, sits on top of some sort of volcano uh, or cliff as it um, so here we are, we are just arriving. So there's the, the Marriott World Centre. Uh, and as you know, it is very close to where we're staying, uh, Disney Springs is. And of course, you have got um, covered walkways like footbridges, but obviously here, there is no moving walkways. So you have to go around manually. It's a bit like at um, Telford Central Station like at uh, Central Station uh, over in Telford, back in the Midlands in the UK, there is no moving walkway, so you have to go around manually. So uh, anyway, we are just entering the uh, car park. Uh, and uh, so if you might have remembered, now I'll just tell you about something. Now, if you might have remembered uh, here at Disney Springs, uh, there used to be uh, a check-in facility for Virgin Atlantic returning flights back to the UK but obviously since after 2020 that uh, car park, that facility had stopped and uh, I think it was due to the decline in travel at the time because there was a decline in travel in 2020 due to obvious reasons and hasn't and obviously the, the facility has not bounced back so it's likely that that they'll probably not be returning in, in years to come. But as always, I will keep you up to date if there's any changes happening uh, along with the Virgin Atlantic uh, checking facility. It was a very great facility um, to use, especially for those passengers who are returning to Manchester and of course Gatwick uh, back in the day in Glasgow. But uh, Virgin, they now fly. Uh, they're still flying to Manchester, but instead of going into Gatwick, they go into Heathrow. And uh, instead of Glasgow, they go into Edinburgh. So anyway, here we are. We're in the green car park. So this is the green parking structure. Alright, this is the elevator on the Lime Garage at the Disney Springs 
Walt Disney World, Orlando, Florida. And this is an artist celebrator capacity, £4,000. This is like an artist Gen 2 well, leaf. These are like the Gen 2 leaf. This is like the Gen 2 leaf sit back in the UK. Here we are, ground, and that's it. Alright then, we just checked into the Polite Pig at Disney Springs here in Orlando and uh, just had my lemonade and we're having some great fun tonight uh, here at uh, Disney Springs, it's going to be very exciting and, uh, I've never been here, I've never been to the Polite Pig before and uh, I've been to Disney Springs multiple times, even from when it originated as Downtown Disney. Because uh, back in the day, you just only had your basic Disney stores. But obviously you did have the High Street store, which was of course Virgin. Uh, if you remember the world's largest Virgin Mega store that used to be here at the uh, Disney Springs uh, Downtown Disney Complex. Uh, which is now the Splitsville Luxury Lanes. It has been under different owners afterwards. It was actually a special type of hub, remembering Princess Diana, the Princess of Wales. And then it changed hands to become Ride Makers. And now it's known as Splitsville, which is a bowling alley. So we are gonna to go to different parts of the shopping village. And uh, so we're gonna have some great fun and um, so polite pig because there was even the mcdonald's here at one time uh here at disney springs they had the mcdonald's if you remember the mcdonald's and uh, i have to say the polite pig staff they were very friendly so thumbs up to uh, all the all the team here at the polite pig Talk, talk, talk. Anyway, this is the elevator at uh, Ron John Surf Shop, Disney Springs, uh, Walt Disney World, Orlando, Florida. And this is an anti elevator capacity, £3,500, which is 3,500 LB. Here we are at two. Go down to one. Go down on one. So we're gonna go down to one. I'm having to talk that music out in here. Talk, 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 talk. Uh, this is a very nice elevator, this is an Otis and you can tell with the buttons look similar with the uh, Gen 2 and the Gen 2 buttons back in England, back in the UK and as you can see it's a very nice cab view on this elevator and we're going down to one and there's the emergency phone unfortunately I can't open because it's very secure and here we are on the first floor. And that's all. Okay, anyway, this is the escalator at the Ron John Surf Shop at uh, Disney Springs, Walt Disney World in Orlando, Florida. And this is a Schindler and it's a uh, single file. So we're going up to the top and there's a lovely bow speaker at the top, top of this escalator. I'm talking the music out in here. There's the elevator over there. And here we are at the top. Very nice cinema. All right, so talk, talk, talk. Anyway, let's go to do and close the doors. We close the door. Anyway, uh, this is the elevator at Uniqlo at the Disney Springs, Walt Disney World, Orlando, Florida. And this is a Covenant Monospace or Eco Space capacity 2,500 pounds, which is 1134 kilograms, 15 persons. Here we are two, talk, talk, talk. Let's go down to one and close the door. And it's a single speed door. And wow, a cone on a space, or referred as eco space in the US. Here we are on the first floor. Here we are, level one. And talk. Anyway, here are the escalators at Uniglow at the Disney Springs, Walt Disney World in Orlando, Florida. And these are cone escalators and wow, they've got red handrails. Wow, that's interesting. Never been on escalators with red, red handrails before. And of course I've been on some with green ones in Harrods in London. 
Here we are in the Uniqlo store at the Disney Springs Walt Disney World Resort in Orlando, Florida. As you can tell, the uh, handrails on these escalators are red uh, to fit in well with the store. So we're just now going back down to the lower level of the store. And uh, it is a very nice uh, type of fashion retailer Uniqlo is. And here we are on the lower level of the store. Let's go to two. Close the doors. Anyway, uh, this is the elevator at Anthropology at the Disney Springs Walt Disney World in Orlando, Florida. And this is a Schindler elevator capacity, 4,000 pounds, 4,000 LBS. We are two, we're gonna go down to one. Let's go down. Very nice. Uh, this is my second anthropology store with the first one being back in the UK in Cheltenham, Gloucestershire. And that one had like a techno with the bigger Diddy line voice. However, this one's a Schindler. Single two speed doors. A bit like the Hashem and the Florida Mall. Here we are, it's one. Out one, wait for the doors to open up, and that's it. Talk, talk, talk. Anyway, this is the elevator at Zora uh, Disney Springs, uh, Walt Disney World in Orlando, Florida. Let's go to two and we'll close the door. And this is another Schindler, and the capacity is £2,500, £2,500 LBS. Uh, similar to the Zara at the Florida Mall, but except this one doesn't rattle. Here we are. Well, not. This is a similar one to the Florida Mall. We got two. We got two. Go back down. Very nice. This elevator is. You can tell. Yep, very nice. This is a certificate. Here we are, one. Door's gonna open shortly. That's it. Anyway, here are the exercises at Zara at the, uh, at the uh, Disney Spring or Disney World in Orlando, Florida. These are Shimmer and these are single file. So we're going to go up to the top floor and uh, here we are on the top floor. Go back down and these are, as you know, Shinla. Oh, as you know, single vinyl as nice as these are. You remember there used to be a Zara in Telford, you know, shops here back in the UK. Uh, but there isn't anymore because they now closed. Here we are, reaching the ground floor level. Well, okay then, uh, so here we are at um, Disney Springs. So we're just walking through this uh, posh part uh, where they've got all like your high street brands here. Uh, and uh, this is very nice and very modern compared to um, to how it was when it was downtown Disney because this used this originated here as downtown Disney and uh, it changed to Disney Springs um, as you can see this is a very nice up-to-date shopping village got all your designer out outlets here uh, compared to what there was before and um, and there are so many good stores. We've got a fountain here. So, um, for those people who've not been to uh, Orlando uh, before, you should check out, um, you should also make a visit to Disney Springs, because they are brilliant. Disney Springs are, it's a brilliant 
brilliant shopping place. Oh, and we're coming up to now the uh, Coca-Cola. And we're also by Planet Hollywood. So we're gonna go to the Coca-Cola store. So we're going to the Coca-Cola and also down towards the House of Blues. And I will show you where the old Virgin Mega store used to be. If you remember the Virgin Mega store here at um, Disney Springs when it was known as Downtown Disney. And also I'll show you where the Virgin Atlantic check-in used to be. Because it's a shame that close that I'm having a talk the music. There's a lot of copyright music playing in here. But uh, we're having a good time here in Orlando. Talk, talk, talk. Anyway, let's go to three and close the doors. Uh, just wait and close the doors. Anyway, they see, these are the elevators at the Coca-Cola store at Disney Springs, Walt Disney World in Orlando, Florida. These used to be Fliss and Crops and were modernised by Otis. Uh, the capacity is unknown. Here we are, three. Hello, going down. What floor are you going down to one? Go down at one. Close the doors, talk, talk, talk. And uh, going down, talk, 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 talk. And here we are at one. Virgin store used to be, if you remember Virgin, the mega store, and that was also a popular name on the UK High Street uh, before they got sold off to Zavi. But luckily, Virgin managed to trade here in Orlando for a little bit longer and then closing finally in 2008. And it was replaced by uh, some sort of historical hub. Then it changed to Ride Makers. Now it's Splitsville Luxury Lines, as you can see, here's the, the exterior of the building on the facade. And we're now heading for the M&M's store now. As you can see, just get a good view there. So that uh, used to be the old Virgin check-in desks. And that was your returning flight. it's not anymore as that area is now become a thing of the past so we're just going to go back into Disney Springs Okay, here we are in the Walt Disney uh, in the Walt Disney Store. As you can tell, these are the reviews of all the Disney transportation. So you got the Disney parking lot trams, which are seen at the uh, four Disney parks. It includes the Epcot, uh, Disney's Hollywood Studios, Magic Kingdom, and uh, also Animal Kingdom. And of course, you got the monorail. And uh, look here, you got the display, and of course got the transportation and ticket centre station. I had one of those from the original range back in the day. As you know, I was a monorail collector back in the day. You got the icon of the Magic Kingdom, the Walt Disney World Railroad. Lovely displays here. And of course, you've got the Disney Cruise Line here as well. And all you got here, you got your Disney Transport buses as well. So you got your Disney Transport buses, your cruise line. And uh, I collected a lot of these back in my childhood days. And uh, just look, 
is the Disney monorail with the new uh, Disney vinyls on. And look, here's a remote control and here's the play set that, that it comes with. And gosh, and guess how much it is? A hundred dollars, me, that is. And there's the set that it comes with. And if you can see, uh, there's the station. And obviously it comes with a, with a station now. And the hot mic has some good memories on the Disney monorail system. If you come around here, you've got to Space Mountain model kit, ages eight and up. Why, mate? Look at this. Space Mountain inspired by the Millennium Dome, and that's amazing. And you've got the Haunted Mansion, the Dark Ride, the Carousel, and oh, blimey, look up there. Mad Hatter's Tea Party, and also the Dumbo Ride. I remember the Dumbo Ride, similar to that. The old Discovery Store that used to be at Murray Hill. Oh, I am absolutely buzzed with the changes that we've had here since, uh, since the last since I last come to Orlando. And if you remember back in the day, we used to have the uh, resort hotel station. Like you had the Disney's Contemporary Resort, the Disney's Grand Floridian and Polynesia. Highly recommend any people who want to get a merchandise like this come to the Walt Disney World Resort here in Orlando, Florida. And uh, they've got some awesome products. And just look at the station. Very well presented. They had one, of, I think they had one of these before back in the day. Uh, the transport, I think this is the transportation and ticket center station, which is the station at the Magic Kingdom Park. Right here, you've got the Disney cars, you've got Mac, Fillmore, Ramon, and all the other exciting Disney type characters. And look, there's Tractor Tipping. Hey, Tractor Tipping. Oh, wow, look at this. I'm just so addicted to that movie back in my childhood days. And look, here's Toy Story, another, another TV show I like. Uh, back in my childhood days, and uh, this is amazing for me doing these reviews on these products, and um, also Monsters Inc. as well, Monsters Incorporated. Oh wow, look, we are in the store right now, we are in the Disney store, as you know, it's very nice and very modern. Toy Story Box, seems like Andy and Davis is doing it. And Davis is one of the main characters in Toy Story. And I'm so glad you're not a dinosaur. I'm you're not a dinosaur. Well I got my dinosaur and he eats most more dog. Here you've got 
got? We've got the uh, Monsters Inc. Um, screen energy machine. If you press this button, it makes a screen noise because you can see the energy here. It's just sort of screen power. If you remembered at the end of the, sh of the movie, it switched from a screen power to a, to a laugh power. And obviously, Mon Monsters Inc. was famous for its, for its screaming. And just looking, of course, it's amazing, absolutely amazing here in the world of Disney, which I refer to as the Disney Department Store because it's so huge. This uh, Disney Department Store. We're just by the tills, and of course, you've got the Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger spin. Um, I don't know what that one is there. And of course, you've got the Walt Disney World railroad train here. And wow, what amazing setup! And of course, you've got these fans here. You've got the lovely fans if you spin them around, they help to cool you down on a very hot sunny day here in Florida. Okay then, so we've just been into the World of Disney store, the which is referred to as like a Disney department store because they have a handful of products within the store and we are going to continue along this complex to see what we can expect in the next part of Disney Springs. Uh, there's another elevator here at the Long Garage at the uh, Disney Springs, Walt Disney World, Orlando, Florida. Go to, and uh, we're going up. Capacity unknown. Um, here we go. Here we are. Two. That's it. Okay, here are the elevators at the Lime Garage at the um, Disney Springs, Walt Disney World in Orlando, Florida. These go down to the car park. These are OTCs. Pretty similar to the elevators at the, at the Universal, except with double speed. Here's the ground, send this up to five. Right then, uh, that was a wonderful experience at uh, Disney Springs tonight and especially seeing Rexine live as well and uh, so a good shout out uh, to Rexine as well and uh, so this is, this has been a fantastic uh, event uh, tonight at uh, Disney Springs and also going over to Busch Gardens over in Tampa and uh, so we are going to end the video and I will see you tomorrow for day number seven. And wherever that will be, I don't know. But I just hope you enjoyed today.